Hello, it's Elizabeth Pritchard here talking to you about how to have a wonderful life. This particular video is about an exercise called Merging Metaphors. It's adapted from Joe Munsha and Nelson Zink's Spinning Icons. And I'll explain to you how it works. This is how it works. Take a problem. Let's imagine this is my problem. Put it somewhere out in front of you, like this, or it might not be exactly this position, but somewhere in front of you. Then you break state, that is shake about, move, stretch, tell your phone number backwards, anything to break state. Then consider what you want instead of that problem. Put that out in front of you too. So they're both in your field of vision. So now we've got the problem and now we've got the thing that you want instead. Now give your attention to the problem and allow that problem to become some kind of metaphor. It might be uh, an animal, a picture, uh, a colour, a scene, it could be anything but allow it to become the metaphor that it wants to become and just leave it there where it is and put your attention to the outcome. That's what you want instead of your problem. Just have a look at that and allow that to form itself into some kind of metaphor. And once you've got that, just start to spin them around each other, this way, this way, this way, any way. Just allow them to spin around together for 10 seconds. Spinning, 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 spinning. So that they start to come together, they become confused or they become one, but they become a different thing. And then it stops. So let's say it's here and it's become a different thing and it's in front of you. And once that's happened, just allow yourself to start telling a story, any story. So it might be a nursery rhyme, it might be something that's happened to you, or it might be just a kind of stream of consciousness, kind of rubbish story. It doesn't really matter what it is. Tell, allow yourself to tell that story. And then when you've finished with the story stop, and ask yourself, um, okay, that story, how does that story help me with this problem? Just ask yourself that. Now my tip with this kind of metaphor work is after you've asked yourself that, don't expect an immediate answer. Come on, how does that help me with my problem? Give me the answer now. That's not really the best way to work with metaphor. I would ask myself, how does that help me with my problem? And then see what emerges over the next couple of days. Let's see what happens now that somehow makes a difference to my problem. That's it for this time. Thank you very much.